For this one, I'm going to show you how to do a sphere. So I'm going to take my paper, and I'm going to fold it in half. Again, I like to fold things just to make your lines as even as you can. So that I'm folding from the edge to the center, so I'll have four that way, and I fold this way. Now, if you just want to draw these lines out, you can. But since so much of your optical illusions is about making sure you have the right measurements and it's as even as possible, I like to just fold mine. Now, I'm going to very, very lightly, and again, I'm doing this with my pencil, draw these lines. You would draw them with whisper lines because you will be erasing a lot of these lines. I'm just drawing those folds so that I have my checkerboard pattern. Now I am going to draw a circle and you can hand draw this if you would like, but I'm going to draw a circle in the center. Now. I'm going to divide this so that I can look at it and say, okay, half of that is right there, half of that is right there. So I'm looking at these little marks, and these are important because of what I'm getting ready to do to them. So I have this as the middle of my circle. This is the halfway point, but I'm going to draw it curved so it follows that path of that circle. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw that curved so it follows that path of the circle. And notice that I'm just taking these quadrants and I'm dividing them in half. Okay. So I get that. And then I'm going to take from this edge to this edge and I'm going to draw so that I'm dividing these again. See? I'm dividing those boxes in half again. And now I divide that line in half. So you get your smaller checkerboards. Now you could have, if you wanted to, fold it so that we get those eight sections. Just find that this lines up pretty well. Okay. Now, I like to start here because you see how that fits? If this is white, this would be black. White, black. White, black. White, black. White, black. White, black. White, black white, black, white. So it's all alternating. Now it's that pattern is going to continue and that's where it gets a little tricky. So what this is black, that's white, black, white. White, black, white, black. Do you see how I'm getting that pattern now? And it's fitting in with that alternating. This right here, it's very important that you map out what your colors are, because if you don't, then it will mess it up. And I'm doing every other one so I can get that checkerboard. Okay, now I have it strong. Now all I have to do is color it in. I recommend you erasing your black squares, I mean your black X's because they will show through with the Sharpie. Remember, the hardest part of these is measuring them out 
and marking out that alternating pattern. The rest is just filling in color as long as you're following your pattern. And I'm just looking at each section at a time and coloring those on. Just coloring in those axes and following along those lines. This is where you really have to pay attention to the section that you're on. I'm only looking for those sections that have an X because I don't want to color in the sections without an X. Those would be white. 